Have you ever looked at a beautiful collection of pencils and thought to yourself, too many colours all separated? I wish there was a pencil that just grabbed a couple of these primary colours and just smooshed them all together and baked the lead into one singular tube so that I could have all the colours in one pencil. Well, <laughs> I've got some good news for you. These are called rainbow pencils. It's got all the colours of the rainbow. Blue and yellow and green and red. All the colours of the... Mm. Almost all the colours of the rainbow. Alright, well it's got primary colours and, and green. I've got ten of the same rainbow pencil. I'm struggling to understand the logic behind this when if I had ten different coloured pencils, I'd have a much more practical time. Maybe the idea of getting a pack of ten is you you give a special colour rainbow pencil to different to lots of people. Like if you're a teacher, oh here's your special rainbow pencil. Maybe that's the logic. I don't know. But I got these because I remember seeing them around as a kid and they had some charm to them. There was there was the, a bit of a novelty factor to these. But now as an adult and a professional artist. <laughs> I just wanna dip! Why do I get the feeling my editor just made a super cut of me looking like an idiot? I am a professional artist. <laughs> Stop doing that! I'm a professional! Uh, uh. I am going to take on the challenge in this video to see if there is any practical uh, or appealing use of a rainbow pencil. Can I use the colours individually? Can you effectively achieve a unique and appealing aesthetic using a rainbow pencil that you can't using a rainbow case of pencils? I don't know, I don't remember. But I'm gonna find out. But let me know in the comments if you have seen these before, if you've used them, if you love them, hate them, what you use them for, and if there is any practical way to use them. I will be picking one commenter who is a subscriber to this channel to receive a $50 Amazon gift card. So go let me know down in the comments below, get involved, be part of the conversation. And just by commenting and being subscribed, you can have a chance to win 50 bucks and buy yourself some more rainbow pencils! Or, I don't know, something a little more substantial or useful. It's up to you. <laughs> first things first, grab a random rainbow pencil pencil and just colour in and see what happens. It's slightly rotating as I go, pretty clearly divides the colours. So can I create just a red area? So far so good. Ah, but we're reaching a limit because it starts to use up enough of the red that it starts to reach the other colours behind it. So by just selecting the one colour, unless I like rotate the pencil to be like a little bit flatter to get more of the red. I mean that works to an extent, but we're hitting some limits pretty quick. Still, I'm actually able to- oh, no, there's a bit of blue. I'm gonna just one by one isolate the colour. So first red, then green. Uh, or both. <laughs> so I may not have a choice. It's like so flat at the tip. It's like I'm trying to just get the green, but it's right on the red. But on the other side, it's right on the yellow. But the yellow's not showing up because the red's stronger. So there might be yellow in there, but I just can't see it. Let's try and get the yellow, shall we? Just the yellow. Just the yellow. We're starting to reach a limit, but I've, I've caught myself before we reach that limit. So maybe it's just a little bit of self-control involved. Can we isolate the colours? Not perfectly, but somewhat. <laughs> this is very little room for contrast here though. Like if I were to really like solidify that red, I'll, get, I'll grab another random pencil. Maybe it comes with a pack of 10 so that you can do one colour at a time, but when you reach the end of the red on one, you have to switch over to another. Then you can build up your contrast. <laughs> Oh, reaching the end, let's swap over, hang on, there we go. Just, and then you just keep it going that way. <gasps> let's draw a rainbow and start off with a, a nice, a nice yellow. Oh wait, no, is it magenta, the red's the first one, isn't it? Is it red the first one? I don't know what a rainbow looks like anymore, these pencils are ruining my education. Can we do green? I'm trying to do green. <laughs> just do green, come on. There we go, okay. This is about all I get though. Wow. Look at that. Hey, that almost does look like a rainbow. Cheeky bastard. All right, well, we're seeing some of the ways that this can be used, but I think really the double is only gonna take us so far. We're only gonna see the full potential of these things by really diving into it. I'm gonna do a uh, simple cutesy drawing, something pretty cartoony, which primary colors are gonna look probably good-ish with. That'll be our medium level test. We've done our easy. I'm gonna start off by drawing what I imagine is the demographic of this art supply. Got a little Timmy on his bicycle, his cute little kid. With, with his cap with a propeller on it that I've never seen in real life that all the cartoon kids wear that make them look like little kids. Not just the propeller caps, but but um, training wheels on a tricycle. Wait, tricycles have three wheels. You don't need a tri have training wheels on a tricycle because that there's, it's stable. This tricycle has training wheels. <laughs> oh my God. I was, that's the bike seat. Does that help? There's maybe some creases 
in the pan. This is getting very weird. This is already weird. The sketch doesn't make a lot of sense and it's not very neat, but it looks pretty badass. Why do I feel like the best way to do this is gonna be to sharpen the pencils and then like, oh my God. See, that's what I'm talking about with like the uneven tip. It's sharpened to the symmetrical center and the blue and red are missing out. The green and yellow have more than half. So let's sharpen all these pencils one by one until we find the most symmetrical lead. There you go. Half of them are not very symmetrical. So to get a workable pencil, I'm gonna just snip the tip. Now I have some sandpaper here. I'm just gonna sand down the end so it's perfectly flat. And then I have a really clear idea as to which color I'm using, hopefully. Start off with just primer colors in the hat. Bit of red, can I color in the whole hat thing? Nope, we're getting blue. I'm gonna rotate through the colors to use up the single color of each of the pencils one at a time until I can actually fill an area with a single color. Gotta lay it down a bit more solid, which means the lead's gonna disappear quicker. But I got the whole underside of the cap. Very nice. Now red. Okay. Okay. All right. This is sort of working. Let's go green propeller because uh, I'm going to make his hair yellow. Oh no, a bit of red seeped in there. All right, it's not the end of the world. It can look slightly intentional. That's all right. Cool. There we go. We got a hat. <sighs> now we're going to do the rest. This is going to sound me slightly insane, isn't it? <laughs> I got the core colors down. I've been able to keep them mostly separated. There are obviously places where it's sort of transitioning between colors, but I'm gonna say there's um, a whimsical charm and a, a simplistic effectiveness that I'm happening to achieve, except it's not all that simple because I'm doing it with five pencils. I mean, if I were able to do all of this with one pencil, there would be something cool about that, but let's face it, I don't think these things are marketing themselves to be solving any real problems here. <laughs> now before we move on to the real difficult test, I think we need to try and see if we can blend some sort of skin color on this little guy. And that's gonna be quite tricky. Really, it's gonna be using red and yellow, which are on the opposite ends of the pencil, right next to blue and green, which we really don't want in a skin tone, let's be honest. So it's gonna take a bit of accuracy and it's gonna take a lot of subtlety to do anything decent. I'm just using the red and I'm gonna really subtly, really lightly Shade in a light pink. Now this is working, but the problem is I can't get too relaxed about it because all of a sudden a different color is going to start showing up in a random place and I don't want that to happen. So I got to just keep my eye on it. I think that's worked. I've laid down like a light pink. That's kind of cool. And then I'm going to go over to my yellow and I'm just going to really lightly just add a little touch of a golden hue to pull it away from being too pink. Ah, oh, that's blue! I don't want blue. A little bit of gold. I can barely see it. The problem is, by the time you see it, you've probably done too much. Ah, oh, that is blue again! I have to stop there, but that actually seems to work. That's pretty good. That's better than I expected, except for the random blue smears. So there we have it. We have successfully created a uh, medium level illustration, separating the colors, decent ish shading. I think that's uh, reasonably effective. However, the advanced test, I mean, the reality is if these pencils were purporting to solve the problem, it would be turning a larger number of pencils into one pencil. So I think that only stands to reason that if we're really gonna put these pencils to the test, I should only use one. So I'm going to create a more epic illustration. In fact, let's do this little fella here, but this time he's gonna be all grown up. A little more witness to the horrors of the real world. Let's see how this stands up to the test. So moving forward and tackling a more intense approach with these rainbow pencils, or with this rainbow pencil, I should say, because I'm limiting myself to using one, I thought I'd mature my theme up. The same character, but all grown up and wise to the ways of the world. Maybe even scarred and battle damaged, wounded, hardened and rough. He holds a multi-coloured pl plethora of talents, maybe, but probably not. I don't know, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of a cool way to present it, but at the end of the day, I actually think the dude ended up looking um, a little more like a pouty underwear model with a torn shirt. But hey, it's probably not gonna end up looking all that good with the coloring of the rainbow pencil anyway. So let's just see how this turns out. I 
starting off with the yellow wasn't too bad. Just filling in the hair color nice and flat and then moving on to the rest of the character. Now, before I moved on to other colors, I thought I'd keep going with the yellow and do a bit of edge highlighting around the edges to give a really cool sort of rim lighting epic effect that some cool illustrations have and a little bit of a color variation. I wanted to try a little bit of blending, a little bit of some cool lighting, but that's sort of where the, the straightforwardness of this started to end a bit. What I mean by that is, for example, the, uh, the character being the same, I was gonna try and do the same sort of outfit and colors and all that, but the shirt is green and it turns Turns out that even though I thought I picked a symmetrically leaded pencil after a little bit of sharpening, it wasn't so symmetrical anymore. And in fact, green was one of the least prevalent ones. So I did try and snip and shave and sharpen back to just use a bit of the green, but it just wasn't working. So I figured maybe the symmetry would change through further use. So I best move on to other colors and other areas and come back to the green later, which I did do and it did sort of work, but Honestly, the whole symmetry was just not balanced all the way through. I did the best I could with what I had, but I really didn't have much to work with. <laughs> to be able to bring the colors together a little bit more but as you can see I had to be pretty aggressive at times to bring it together and I was just getting sick of not having certain colors available so I just started using my pliers and clippers to just tear apart the pencil in the areas that I didn't care about to try and get some of the color that I wanted to use. It was mildly effective uh, but I think that really is all you can aspire to get out of one of these rainbow pencils. With that said, the skin tone actually came together pretty well and I was able to get a really solid red in for the scar around the eye, even mix in some cool enough blending with a bit of blues acting as a shadow color, both on the skin and on the shirt. The overall effect isn't all that bad, but obviously the colors are limited and the way to use those colors is incredibly just impractical. I mean, these aren't really meant to be used to do illustrations. But that's part of the challenge. How far can you actually take one of these pencils? Well, I'm hoping that my little illustration demonstration here gives you an idea. But you can also see how far I've had to take it to actually make it usable. So the good news is I can make some art using only the rainbow pencil. The bad news is it's very fiddly and I've sharpened to the point that I can't actually sharpen the pencil in my electric sharpener anymore. So this is as much as I actually can do on the artwork. And as you saw, it's not as simple as just using the pencil. I was using clippers and sanding paper and all sorts of ridiculous workarounds. So I wouldn't recommend it. It can be done. Maybe there are better uses for it than actual illustration. But I, I thought it'd be worth giving a try and see if you actually can. And you can, just stupidly. Which is the way I like to do most things. I like the uh, angle of doing this guy all grown up, having been in the trenches and seen some stuff. But at the same time, I can't shake the fact that he looks a little like Fabio. A little pouty, a little, little model-y. Feels less epic and a little more like sensual in an uncomfortable way, which is also how I like to do things. <laughs> I hope you have had a blast. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you think of what I've done with my illustration here, how you think I went, and also what you think these things are actually decent for, if anything, or if they're useless. But with that said, that is the end of this video. I sincerely hope you've had a blast. And if you have, make sure you're subscribed with your notification bell ticked so you don't miss out on the next video. And if you get in early, you get to join in some of the uh, giveaways and stuff that I do too. So come on and join the arty party. And if you want a place well, where you get starty, then go over the, to those videos and you'll have a party. I rhymed party with party. That's a, this is a terrible sign off. Thanks for watching. Till next time, we'll see you later.